Hello. Can Hello. you can you hear me? Yes. Yes, this is the walk of someone who has new shoes. Are these yes. shoes? Yes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Oh, she looks attractive. Oh. Uh, maybe she's in a rush. Oh, she's busy. She's on the phone. Oh, I want to talk to this girl in front of me. Maybe she's... Oh, she has her headphones in. Maybe she doesn't want to be bothered. Mm. Oh, fuck, I missed that one. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta do one. Fuck, I should've talked to that girl. Fuck, should've did it. <sighs> Is she with someone? Uh, fuck. Bro. Fuck. Should it? Sorry. 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 I should have talked to her. <laughs> oh, fuck. There she is. She saw me. I'm going to walk over here. Okay, I'll wait for her to get the people who can't leave. I'll just wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. She saw me. Hey, you can't do it now, no way. She think it's weird.
Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I was just standing back there, and I think you look uh, wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, where are you going? Uh, I'm waiting for the patch mode. The patch mode? Uh, the band. The patch mode. Oh, the band. Oh, there's a band here. Oh, it is. Yeah. You look like you're ready for a band. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, yes. I'll see you. Have a nice day. See you. Bye. Should have, should have tried to go for a number. Should have tried to go for a number. She looked like she was interested. Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta go home. I gotta do some work to do anyway. As you can see from that, that's what it's like when you care about what people think and what women think. Your reality plays out in this way. You walk around and you notice every situation that you won't go into. Because it doesn't feel right. She's on the phone. Or she saw me. Or there's people around. I'll wait for less people to be around. There's always an excuse when your reality is built this way. It was conditioned and then you believe the conditioning and you gave it evidence and more evidence because for conditioning to be alive, for beliefs to stay alive, they need evidence. And that evidence is every single time you say, she saw me and you don't do it. That's evidence that you care about what people think because it's just reaffirming to you something that means something to you. That's all it's doing. When you see a woman, you're like, oh, she's on the phone and you don't do anything, that's reaffirming to you. Every single action that you take toward something and then you have an excuse and then you don't take action, and you don't take action that process is something that's alive inside of you. That's something that feels very real to you. That feels like something you're very used to. It seems like home in a way. As much as you don't want to hear this, when you see a woman you want to speak to, and then you make an excuse about something, and then you don't take action, that feels like home to you. That feels like it resonates with you. You have a deep resonance with that. You have a lot of investment in this belief that you have, in this conditioning that you've allowed. You have a lot of invested in that. And you'll do whatever you can to hold it dear to yourself. When we've, when we've invested a lot into something, a belief, a way of being, meaning like we've played it out, we've done it so many times, we will continue to give it a lot of attention because if we let it go, that means that we've done all that work for nothing. That means that something that we've put all our energy into, it wasn't worth it. And that's hard for us to feel as people. We love to feel that, you know what? I did something and there was a payoff. I did something and I've invested myself into it and I don't want to let it go because now it means something to me. We love to feel that because it makes us feel connected in a way. You feel connected to your beliefs. You feel connected to when you say, oh fuck, what people, what people think of me, I really do care, like, oh fuck, there's, I don't, I don't want, ah, uh, it's weird, I don't want them to see me doing this. You really do care about that belief a lot. You're holding it dear, it feels like home to you. So you won't go do it. No, you will not. And everybody is telling you in the community or everybody's telling you in self-development that stop caring what people think. Stop caring what women think. In the community, they say this. They're failing to realize that your reality is built on caring what people think and caring what women think. That actually means something to you in your reality. 
They're standing outside of your reality and telling you that you shouldn't care what people think. You shouldn't. They're not being empathetic to the, to the fact of I was there once and I know what it's like, but you have an alternative. They're not giving it to you in this way because they've, so to speak, felt like they've broken free. And they're like, oh man, I don't care what people think. And they've tried to force that upon you because once you push your frame upon somebody so strongly, they can be so weighed down by it that they can give in to it and start to believe what you believe. And this is one of the ways that the community is starting to do it. They're starting to just press down on you in this way. But this is not going to help you because you're going to find along that track that you still care about what people think. You're never going to not stop caring because you were forced into it. I'm here to tell you that do I want you to care what people think. I do. I want you to care what women think of you. If it stops you from taking action, I want you to not take action. I want you to do whatever feels real to your experience right now. If that's not doing anything, making excuses, saying to yourself, you know what? One day I'll feel like doing it. Yes, I want you to do that. I want you to live your experience. That's how much I care about you living your life and me not interfering. That's how much I care about it. Anyone who's come to this video, you know that you have an alternative to life. You have the alternative to not care. Because you've walked that path so long of caring what people think and caring what women think of you <clears throat> that has crippled you and has paralyzed you that you're starting to go, you know what? I want to do something different about this. There's a different way that this can go about happening. I don't have to continue to let this lock me down from doing what I want to do. And then you start to go, what do I want to do? I know if I do what I want to do, I'm going to have to not be where I am right now. I'm going to have to let go of something. And that's scary for me. You know this already. You do. So when people are telling you stop caring what people think, stop caring what women think, they're not taking you into account. They're not taking your reality and the way it was built into account. So I want you to care for both sides, what people think and what women think. But let me give you an alternative. This alternative is going for what you want and being willing to have people think something about you. This alternative is going for what you want and having the woman think something harsh about you. And you look very young to have, be dressed so older and elegant. Um, I'm 21, so uh, thank you. Is this strange to you? Uh, people who, so. Yes, it's strange. Oh, it is strange. Uh, what's normal to you? Are you window shopping? No, I'm just going to the, I'm going home. Yeah, I was just like, it's amazing to see your attention just get pulled all the way to the, almost to the... Yeah, usually. But I'm working here and now I'm just going home. But I can't stop looking at the window, you know, when I'm walking here. Is this your, obviously this is your style. Like this looks like your style though. But it looks like, it looks like this coat would be in the window though. I'm Anthony. Hi. And you are? Well, I don't know you, so I don't know why should I tell you my name, sorry. Well, before you met your current boyfriend, you didn't know him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So what if you would have said that what if you would have said the same thing to him? But yeah, but we had common friends, you know. Oh, you have become friends. No, we had common friends. Ah, so but you still didn't know him though. Yeah, but it was like a whole, you know, community. What if he walked up to you like this, though, and he was like, hello, would you say, oh, I'm not going to give you my name? Would I you have done know, that? But no, 
now I have my boyfriend, so you know I'm not thinking about these things. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it looks strange. I know it does. It looks so strange, but it's not as strange as you making it. <laughs> All right. Oh no, no, don't walk away before you go. Yes, I'm not selling anything. You're like walking away. Don't walk away. Hi. Hi. I'm Anthony. Hello. Hi, scared friend. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm not scared. You're I'm like, you're like. <laughs> that's like that's. I was like, oh my god, do I really look that harmful? I thought I looked harmless. No. A little bit. I look harmful. Wow. She doesn't like strangers. Oh, you don't? Not really. You only like her? Yeah. <laughs> where are you guys? Where are you guys? Or we can go. Where, where are you guys up to? I'm here to meet her. How are you going to say anything else? Do you want me to meet her? Not really. She doesn't like anybody when she first meets them. <laughs> Hello. Can Hello. you can you hear me? Yes. Yes, this is the walk of someone who has new shoes. Are these yes. shoes? Yes. Oh my god, yes. Yes, these are new, aren't they? Yes. Do they hurt? What? Do they hurt? No. They don't. No. I don't speak English very well, so, so That's okay. Sorry. You know your coat looks like uh, a blanket. Really? Yes. I love this coat. I yeah, think look. it's very cozy. Yeah, it actually feels like a blanket too. That's what's crazy. <laughs> and so big. Uh, maybe sometimes yes. Do you have any friends I, that I, are this old? I like uh, old, old people than me. So, Why? So yeah, because uh, they are so, so nice and uh, not childish, like my, uh, my age boys, mm. like this, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you feel like you are much more mature than the guys your age? Yes, I think. So you you're going to DAC, right? Yes. Yes, I'll just walk you to there and then I'll leave. Okay. Okay, because okay. I, I know you have to go, <laughs> but um, I still wanted to just find out who you are, because I don't know. I don't want you to focus on not caring what people think. It's not beneficial. If you want the alternative, I want you to focus on what you want because whatever you want what goes hand in hand with that is what people think of you you can't get away from what people think of you if you're gonna go for what you want in life if you're gonna go for what you want moment to moment if you're gonna be that what you are you cannot get away from people thinking something about you you become extremely influential the moment you go for what you want because most people don't so of course you are breaking out of what most people won't break out of You have the great chance. You do. I remember when I cared so much about what people think. So much. That, some of the excuses that you heard, that would go through my mind. Something that I wanted, I wanted it to look smooth all the time. I wanted to always look confident. I never wanted to look nervous because I didn't want people to judge me for that. Because as a man, when you're not confident, when you are nervous, when you are not okay, when you are trying to figure yourself out, when you're trying to grow, people really have harsh things to say about that. They do. They respect the fact that you're trying to grow, but when they see you do something, when they see you go after something and they don't see it work out, many people have things to say about that. Even women, women are very disconnected from what men go through. You may see a woman and you're like, fuck, I feel so nervous. And she may not even be aware that most men walking around are very nervous to talk to her. She's very attractive. And the fact that she's so attractive, he invested, he's invested so much in how she's going to perceive him that she has power over him. She doesn't even know that. And some women, they know that and they use it to their advantage. And of course, you have the very small amount of women who would just say no to that guy because she simply knows that I know that I don't want a man like that. I don't want a man right now who's at that stage in his life. I want a man who's more evolved. I do. 
that's the very rare type of women. But most women actually are somewhere along the lines of just not knowing and, oh, oh I didn't know guys needed help with this. They're along that lines. If you go for what you want, always remember this. If you go for what you want, if you're deciding to go down that path, you must come up against what people think of you, what women think of you. <clears throat> it's vital. It is an important part of you breaking out. It is an important part of your evolution. I cared so much back in the day. I did. I cared so much about what this woman thought when I walked up to her. Or did I, did I leave that interaction looking smooth? Did I engage them in a way where they'll walk away and think good things about me? Yes, these things came to me. These came, things came to me after I walked away from women. And that's why I say, you have the chance because I had the chance and I made it. I was willing to be courageous enough to walk into the feeling of judgment. Walk into what others think. Going past men and feeling like, fuck, I don't want them to see me get blown out by this girl. I don't want them to. I want them to see me as smooth. I want them to just give me a pat on the back for the fact that I was the different guy. I had to get used to that. And for the last point, I just want to let you know that the only shift that's going to allow you to really stop caring what people think and stop caring what women think, the only shift is from thought to feeling. Moving away from thought and into feeling. This is the shift that one needs. Let's think about this. When you say, I care about what people think, I care about what women think of me, you keep talking about think, 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 think. But you're never talking about feel. I care about, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to stop caring what people think of me. That's still think. But when you move away from thinking, you only have one place to go. And that's feeling. What you're really saying is, I want to feel this experience more. I don't want to always have to be up here in my mind. I want to feel this experience more because I can tell that this experience has an enrichment to it, a liveliness to it that I want to experience, but I don't know how to. There's a block I feel in my mind that doesn't allow me to experience out here. It's a movie from head to heart, from mind to no mind from unconsciousness to consciousness. This is the shift you're looking for. And I tell you that you have the chance, again, to move from thought to feeling. And everybody out there who's telling you to stop caring what people think and stop caring, stop caring what women think, they're very right. You can stop doing that. You can stop doing that. You can. But what they forgot to tell you is the most pivotal way you can do this is moving away from thought and into feeling. That's the most pivotal way to do it. There's all these other little gimmicky things to do, like think about this or, or make this mindset. Or, but the most powerful thing is moving away from the mind and into the heart. That's the most powerful way to do this. And what do I mean? Awareness wanting to feel more of life instead of have to think about the feeling that you have. Instead of have to have your mind give you the feeling. Oh, boom, there's the girl. Okay, I like her, boom, no, this is weird, boom, now you have the feeling of I don't want to do this. And that thread happens, mind, heart, mind, heart, mind, body, mind, body. It is telling you and it's telling you exactly, okay, this is what's strange. This is not something for you to go into. But when you switch it around, when you're moving from the heart, you go, oh, she looks nice. Oh, she's in this mood. Now you're moving from a different place. I wonder what she's, and now 
the heart has taken over. This is the shift that one can make and that you can make. I uh, thank you so much for tuning in to everything that's happened today because this is the track of living on two sides of the fence. To let you know, I have a free meet to bedroom series. That's everything from what do you do on the approach to what do you do to you get it, when you get there at the doorstep. Just totally free for you. Go to the description box and click on the link. Share this with anybody who you feel this is going to help because this will help somebody. I can tell you that right now. Subscribe because you can follow me this way and know more of what, what I'm talking about and uh, what's happening with me. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you on Saturday.